I'm back in Lincolnshire and this time I'm in a wood which is mainly oak and I'm looking for, for more moths and in particular hawk moths. Now up to date this season I've caught the elephant hawk moth which is that incredible pink looking creature and it's called the elephant hawk moth because as a caterpillar it's got a, a long elephant like Ooh! And I've also caught the privet hawk moth, which is the pink and black jumpered hawk moth. And I've caught a lime hawk moth in Italy. But I wanted to take the opportunity to show you the difference between a brand new specimen, which is here, and one that's been around for a few days. And now I've just caught a poplar hawk moth. The poplar hawk moth can be found in Britain between the months of May and July, but they can also be found in August and to a latter extent in September. But those main few months is when it's active. Their wingspan is about 70 to 100 mil across and What's really strange about them is they've got uh, their second wings, the underwings, which actually protrude beyond their top primary wings. So they have a, a curious shape that is easily um, recognisable when you see it. The colour varies from being beautiful mottled grey to quite a, uh, a sort of buffy clay colour. So the colour does vary considerably depending upon the habitat. It lives not only in woods like this one which is an oak wood but you can find it in your garden where these poplar trees obviously grow. You can find it in apple orchards. You can find it almost anywhere. In fact it is the most common hawk moth in the UK. They as a caterpillar mainly feed on poplar which is that little chap but they can also quite happily survive on apple and aspen and things like that. Now if I can keep that standing up I will show you the hawk moth in a moment but what's very unusual about this hawk moth is that as a caterpillar of course it does have a mouth and it chomps through lots of those leaves in order for it to throw away its old casings and eventually turn into a pupa and finally a moth. But as a moth it emerges with no mouth so it doesn't feed and it doesn't drink so they can only last a week or two so they need to get on, breed, lay their eggs which are small beads, uh, yellow or green and they can lay as many as 200 uh, in, one, in one go. So they're quite easy to find as an egg and when they do hatch into a caterpillar they're a lovely great big green chap with yellow diagonal patterns across its side with a little yellow horn as its tail. So I'll show you the hawk moth now. So he does look vaguely similar to that poplar leaf. Let's try and get him to stand on my finger. Ooh. There we go. If I move his wings... You 
can just see the red spots on its second wings. And often when it's about to fly it warms up these wings like it's doing and then it takes off.